Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott and these are the inverts. Today we're going to be having a look at the wolf spider that's known as the Hognam Miami. So with that said, let's go to the intro. <laughs> So guys, this is one of my favourite true spiders. Uh, it's a wolf spider, um, but more scientifically known as the Hogna Miami. Um, I've spoke to several people um, about the care and husbandry around these. Um, I spoke to a breeder um, who suggests that when the female um, comes up to drop in a sack, she burrows down into the substrate by about an inch, so just underneath the surface, and creates an egg sack there. Um, I've also spoke to um, people like Lee Arden, who's been over, from, he's from the spider shop, he's been over to Florida, he's been over to Miami, uh, so he's told me whereabouts he's found them. Um, I spoke to a farmer over in Alabama who's found them in the cornfields. Um, when mine caught to molting, it did actually burrow, it burrowed down by about an inch and did its molt down there. Mine's now a sub adult uh, male. Um, but yeah, <coughs> anyway, less than my ugly mug. Let's go and have a look at the true spider. Let's go and have a look at the wolf spider, the Hogna Miami. Okay guys, so you can just see my Hogna Miami, just there. Um, now the reason the court bark is here, really close down to the ground, is because they've been observed in the wild uh, to be living under logs and even debris such as mattresses uh, and rubbish and in cellars. <clears throat> so they like just enough room to get themselves in between the soil and the roof of their hide. Um, it's also worth noting when they have been seen in the wild, the substrate or the area where they are is always damp. Um, a friend of mine who lives in Alabama, what he said is they water the cornfields daily um, because they don't use fertilizers or anything like that. And the fields get quite covered in wolf spiders not only Hogna Miami but other SP so um, that, that's what kind of leads me to the conclusion that they like the substrate slightly damp plus living under logs and debris it's, it's going to be damp anyway um, as I've said previous that's two inches of substrate there to give him enough room to burrow down now just here um, I'll move the camera now so you can see is that piece of court bark um, because these aren't just ground dwellers, they will come up at night time, they will come up in, into um, bushes and, and uh, any, sort of, any sort of structures to hide and to hunt. <clears throat> but I think this is an absolutely gorgeous spider. You'd be lucky if you actually see them eating because um, they're, they're, they are quite nocturnal and he does spend most of his time underneath this court bark. But yeah, they're Hogna Miami. Um, Miami because that's where they were first, first seen, and that's over in um, Florida. They're all around that, that area and up into Alabama. Um, but let's see. Let's have a see, see if he will take a roach, but I highly doubt it. Oh, I think oh he's just he just he's just interested. Well, he might go in there now to look for it um <laughs> it it is worth noting that these they will accommodate room temperature, but ideally you want to be keeping these around twenty six twenty seven twenty eight degrees. Um, but mine is a sub-adult male, so when he molts I will be looking for a adult female. And now he's gone off under there, and I probably won't see him now. He'll probably stay under there. So these aren't a display true spider, these will hide a, a lot. Um, what I've done though is created this court bark here, and because it's up against the side, I can look in and view him. So that was the Hogna Miami. Um, Apologies, there's not a lot of information um, about these out there. Uh, there. There are people in the field that are still studying these. So as soon as any more information comes out, I will do an update video. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you're liking what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. Um, 
that really helps me out. Um, yep, yeah, uh, 250 subscriber giveaway. The video for that is going to be coming out very soon. It's going to be a couple of questions in there for you guys um, on videos that have, uh, that I've done in the past. Uh, there's going to be uh, you're going to have to be a subscriber to be in it to win it. Um, but yeah, keep your eye out for that video because uh, what I'm giving away is pretty nice. Um, selection of tarantulas. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for your time, and see you on the next one.